Hello my friends, I'm driving again. <laughs> I do want to make a video, short video, on a happy marriage. And I know I've posted a little bit about what the Lord has taught me through my own marriage and family life. But I wanted to make, you know, a few videos putting it in concise form and brief form the lessons that God has taught me that will help you have a very happy marriage and, you know, how to live it. So that's kind of the goal of this video and maybe a few more and I'll just go lesson by lesson of the attitudes we need to have and the reactions we need to have towards our spouse in order to live out the life and the happy marriage that God wants us all to have. I was on a trip, um, we were visiting my cousins and they were basically my wife and my kid had a really messed up schedule and so they were sleeping during the night during the day and it was like all backwards and we really couldn't go out anywhere it was out of state it was a different place and I like towards the end of it I had started to get a little bit discouraged and felt like this isn't how things ought to be you know my my cousins are going out somewhere I can't really go anywhere I have to stay home and help and we came on a trip my wife isn't going anywhere either because she's with my son Gabriel and I started praying and saying Lord show me how you are involved in all this because I know that you have a part in all this and everything works together for good for those who love you and are called according to your purpose so where are you in all this and the Lord reminded me of the verse. He said, Though he who wants to be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven must become a servant of all. And I was thinking about that and I was like, okay, a servant. You know, a servant is committed to the master. A servant is fully dedicated to doing the will of the master. And where else? Can I pra practice perfect servitude than in my family? How else can I be a perfect servant other than, you know, through the hard times? When I can learn to please God through being a servant for my spouse. And like Jesus said when he came here, he said, I did not come here to be served, but to serve others, to serve you. And not only did he serve us, he laid down his life. He gave up everything for our sake. And with the same attitude, we must behave towards our spouse. Are you willing to give up? It says, husbands love your wives like Christ loves the church or loved the church and gave himself up for it. Are we laying our lives down for our spouse? And at that moment, because I had other desires on the side, like going out or something or that it wouldn't be this way, I was not laying my life down for my spouse. My life didn't revolve around being a servant to help and you know and whatever I can and so I said Lord this is the second lesson right the first one is servitude and the second one is how to do it because if you just listen to me right now and you're like okay I gotta serve and then you go serve you'll be miserable you'll be miserable because you're, you're still having those desires battling within you saying oh well, I want to go out but I have to serve so I'm gonna serve and so you're doing all this almost grudgingly like I don't want to be doing this but I have to be doing this there's this is the way God wants me to behave and it's a miserable experience and so there must be a coupling here and you must couple with this servitude God's life living out through you and here's what I mean by that your outer desires must match your inner desires. If your outer desires are to go out, but your inner desire is to please God and stay, and you're at fight with those two, you're gonna be miserable. But when your outer desires, when you say, Lord, I don't want anything, I just wanna do your will, and I wanna be happy with your will. Come and just satisfy me with yourself, meaning let me be satisfied in you only, and in your will, and be happy with it and pray and have your outer desires, meaning like your everything you want is just to please God. Everything you want is to bring about joy in His heart because of what He's already done for you and what He's already doing for you. And then when your outer desires line up with your inner desires and you truly do wanna please God, and then you go and you do serve your spouse, 
and you go above and beyond to serve them, you have life within and you have joy because you're doing the exact thing you want to do. You're no longer battling like, oh, I want to go out, but I'm going to stay. You're like, no, I want to stay and help and I'm going to stay and help and I'm staying and helping and it's making me be happy because I'm doing the exact thing I want to do, which is please God through servitude. And so this, and it's a denial of self. It's a denial of self desires. And that's what it means when Jesus said, when you need to lay down, uh, pick up your cross, lay down your life and follow me. So if you don't pick up your cross, meaning deny yourself, put your own desires to death, only to do the will of God, you will have battle within and unsatisfaction within. But when you do lay yourself down, then through that self-denial and through the receiving of a new life, new desires of pleasing God, you will have life and your marriage will have life. And every time you die, you bring life. When Christ died on the cross, he brought life to all. And when we lay ourselves down for the sake of our spouse, we bring life into our family. And that life spreads much further than you can even see because there are implications and it's like a domino effect. And the more you put yourself, uh, lay yourself down and deny yourself, the more life enters the family and the more life enters your heart because you are morphing into the image of Christ and Christ is there to fulfill all your needs that you're missing. So God bless you. And uh, that's lesson one is self-denial, servitude, and having the same desires as Christ in your inner life and in your outer desires. God bless you.